Apsican Lighthouse. The Apsican Lighthouse is located in the north end of Atlantic City, New Jersey. If you ever decide to go to Atlantic City, do not forget to visit the Apsican Lighthouse. At 171 feet, approximately 52 meters, it is the tallest lighthouse in the state of New Jersey and the third tallest masonry lighthouse in the United States after the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse in North Carolina at 198 feet, approximately 60 meters and the Ponce de Leon Lighthouse in Central Florida at 175 feet approximately 53 meters in height. It has been the tourist attraction since the light went on in 1857. It has 2,000 square feet of museum space. They also have a small souvenir shop. Oh, yes. There's a fee? Ten dollars? Okay. No problem. Thank you so much. All right. So let us start. Yes. Um, the Pepsican Lighthouse is New Jersey's tallest lighthouse and the country's third tallest lighthouse, Masonry Lighthouse. We were first lit on January 15, 1857. Uh, we're 171 feet tall. It's called Epsican Lighthouse because it's located on Epsican Island. Um, a lot of people wonder why isn't it called the Atlantic City Lighthouse since we're in Atlantic City. But New Jersey coastline is made up of a lot of barrier islands mm -hmm. and ours is called Epsican and has the towns Atlantic City, Ventnor, Margate, and Longport. So our claim to fame is that we have the original first order Fresnel lens yes. still in place at the top. Okay. So when you climb right now, you'll be able to see that lens. We have a, a volunteer up there, Jackie, and she will point out all the great things you need to see. Okay. And we're open year-round for tourists. We'd like to invite everybody to check us out in Atlantic City. It's a wonderful historical and cultural destination. It's a lot of fun to add to your trip. So thanks for including me. Oh, thank you. to do a sig. Okay. And we have a variety of things. Steel Pier is a wonderful yes. um, pier with rides and helicopter rides and food and beverage outlets. Um, Atlantic City Cruises, you can take a boat ride and go see dolphins. All right. Um, 
There's axe throwing here. There's miniature golf at North Beach Mini Golf and Atlantic City Golf, a Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, a civil rights garden, Lucy the Elephant is on the island, and then the historic Gardner's Basin, which is down um, about six blocks from here. It's oh. where Atlantic City Cruises sails out of. And um, then we have the world, the world's largest pipe organ in uh -huh. Wardwalk Hall. Yeah. Phenomenal. It was just written up in the New Yorker magazine. And it has, gosh, I don't know how many thousands of pipes, but the tallest pipe is 64 feet tall. Mm -hmm. And the smallest pipe is about the size of your pinky. It's a wonderful tour. Really cool. And the Marine uh, Mammal Stranding Center over in Brigantine. And the Noise Arts Garage in Atlantic City. And of course, there's always shopping. We have um, Tanger Outlets, the walk down in the center of town. So there is plenty to do in Atlantic City besides going to the casino <laughs> and trying your luck there. So thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank From you. here, the closest is which one? I forgot. Um, let's see. Maybe down by Gardner Spacing, because that's just yes. about six blocks away. Yes. And mini golf is right up the street, basically, uh, up two blocks, over one block, and then you'll hit the mini golf. Do you want to have this? Yeah. Where, okay. where here? Uh, um, North Beach Mini Golf, this one right here. Oh, this one. Yeah, it's brand new. It opened this year. Okay. They also have bike rentals there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you so oh, much. You're welcome. And anytime you're ready, the tower is back in this direction here. Mm -hmm. There are six landings as you climb. There's information in a window at each landing so you can stop and catch your breath on the way up. We all do that. No shame there at all. Okay. Just have fun with it. And then Jack will be at the top for you. Thank okay. you. Thank In 1821, a French physicist developed the lens that bears his name now. The revolutionary design allowed to add the light from a light source to the beam of a lighthouse, making the light visible from greater distances. The lens weighs over 6 US tons, over 12,800 pounds, each of the lead prism glass pieces had to be hand carried over the 228 steps and assembled over the watch room. The lighthouse has a total of 240 steps with visitors able to climb 228 to the watch room. The lighthouse was deactivated in 1933. Atlantic City gained popularity as a tourist destination. The hotels built close to the shoreline were higher than the lighthouse, so it could not perform its primary navigational function. Also, the lights of Atlantic City were overshadowing the light from the lighthouse. Every night the light gets turned on at a reduced power for tourism purposes. Look, it says there, step 58. Oh, it says we don't have to count the steps. <laughs> nice. Step sixty one.
fresh air. You made it. Welcome to the lighthouse. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh wait, so we can. Thanks. Oops. Oh, oh I see. Look at that. It's working. <laughs> New Jersey's tallest hotel can be seen right from the top of the lighthouse. talking about oh well, I think it's cold in Russia no it's cold, very cold in the winter and it's warm in the summer and in the springtime lots of flowers oh my god you're one of those uh, rare people who, really? who yes because everyone thinks it's cold there oh in the winter it's really cold in the winter. yeah in like my every... family comes from the Gdansk area in the northern Poland mm -hmm. my mother's family cool yeah I'm from that area too and uh, yes, but you you don't usually meet people from from. Ah, by the way, what ten countries do you know? What ten countries? Uzbekistan. Uh, yes. Uh, Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, that's Tajik a kind of Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Yes. And, um, and uh, Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan and. That's it. Uh, maybe two. I need two more. Two? No, no, no. Two. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, I need two more. Huh? No, that's yeah. Two more and and two also uh, the beginning of the next country. Uh, it's called T U. Tur. Don't know. Turkme. Tur Turkey. Turkmeni. Oh no. Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan. No, no, no. Turkmenistan. And. What are we doing with this film, by the way? I just. Just you know, um, I thought you were filming the lighthouse. The lighthouse, and also people, to know about the lighthouse. life, people, life. life, conversations. Oh, okay. So yeah. I haven't been there. I've been to Asia a lot. Yeah. I haven't been to the Philippines yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Cambodia, Thailand, oh. Japan, China, China three times. India, China. India. Where did you like it uh, better most? Of those, of the of Vietnam. Of, of Vietnam? Vietnam? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So. I liked to, uh, um, the funkiest was Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Love Bangkok. Uh, the love best food. food. The best food? Oy. I love it. Uh, everything was good. China was good food. I was in Shanghai and Hong Kong and Beijing and um, uh, Great Wall. And uh, yeah, and, and the food was good. And the food in Thailand was very good. The food in Vietnam was good. I, I, wherever I am, 
I love the food. India, the food was good. Loved India. Spice. Have you been to India? No, but they have a lot oh. of friends. You must go. Yeah. It's beautiful, beautiful. And the people are wonderful and the colors, the colors. I went to a wedding, I was sorry. Mm. So, uh, and why did you uh, volunteer for this job? I mean, well, I moved here from northern New Jersey. I lived in the mountains of northern New Jersey, and I moved down here. And it's it's different. I'm retired. Yeah. And I like to keep busy, and I love the working at the light, uh, volunteering at the lighthouse because I meet people. Meet from people everywhere. And yeah. I love people. So um, I used to be a research scientist. Oh. So this is completely different. And I worked for a global company, so I knew people from all over the world. Oh, and what kind of research did you do? Well, we did it. Well, I did it. We did antibody uh, testing. And, oh. Because it's very popular now, but most of the testing that's done is antibody testing. Mm -hmm. And I, did, I was a microbiologist at one time, too. Wow, well, cool. You've, you, you, you've had a... Um, so this is completely different. Yeah. You've had a very uh, interesting trips and uh, interesting life and uh, jobs. Yeah, cool. Good for you. I wish I had you. such a but wonderful... You, but you will. You will. I hope. You will. <laughs> I hope. You will. You'll find your niche. You'll find what you want to do with yourself. And maybe you'll be in, in uh, what you're doing now. Thank you. Thank you for this interview. <laughs> oh, you're quite welcome. All right. All right. We're coming back. All those stairs again. So how many total steps? Oh, total steps. I, I think I already filmed the total steps count, but let me just film it again. So the last step is step number 228, 228 steps. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.
All right, we just used the sound check one, two, three, sound check, sound check, sound one, two, check three. one, two, three. All right, so we just used uh, the same one that we're using in West New York or New York. So the same, the same, and it and it what is working here. Thank you. What did you forget? One, two. Sound check, one, two. Say something. Hello. No, no, no. You lost it, Jirinka. No. Oh, oh, it's there. <laughs> what did you lose, sick? Oh my Me, god. Me, I lose myself. <laughs> you I lost lose the, my voice. You lost oh my the god. fucking microphone. Expensive stuff. Oh my god. 